In this video we are gonna look at using various field processors in stream sets. Notice that a processor stage is a type of data processing that you want to perform. You can use as many processors in a pipeline as you need. You may apply different processors based on the execution mode of the pipeline, standalone or cluster. To help create or test pipelines, make use of development processors. And now let's revise some of the key concepts here. All in all, there are three types of processors, field, scripting, and encoding ones. We are using these units in the data collector and transformer to process the data. For the purposes of this video, we are going to focus on field processors utilized in the data collector. Take a closer look at each and every one of them. Field renamer helps us to rename fields in a record. While the field remover aims at removing fields from a record, Field Pivoter pivots data in a list map or list map field and creates a record for each item in the field. Whilst the Field Flattener serves for flattening nested fields, Field Splitter splits the string values in a field into different fields. Finally, the Field Type Converter converts the data types of fields. Let's look at some of these stages and the problems you can solve with them. First, Create a sample pipeline using the dev raw data origin and trash destination so it will run no matter your configuration. You'll need StreamSets Data Collector version 240 or higher to import it. Scroll down to select the dev raw data source as origin. Select the trash destination from the menu. Run preview, and you'll see exactly what's going on. Let's experiment with the configuration and sample data to see how you can apply the same techniques to your data transformations. We'll start with some company data in JSON format, such as you might receive from an API call and proceed through a series of transformations resulting in records that are ready to be inserted in a database. Let's select our first processor, Field Pivoter, that can split one record into many, pivoting on a collection field, that is, a list, map, or list map. This is particularly useful when processing API responses, which frequently contain an array of results. For example, let's say we have the following input. So we want to create a record for each result, with name, street, or alike, as fields. Configure a field pivoter to pivot on the results and copy all of its fields to the root of the new record. In other words, select the processor, go to the field pivot tab, type slash results in the field to pivot field, and slash in the pivoted items path. Let's take a look at the results in the preview. Observe the data pivoted neatly and effortlessly. Now it is time to select our second processor, Field Flattener. Remember that data formats such as Avro and JSON can represent hierarchical structures, where route curds contain fields that are themselves collections of other fields. For example, each route curd in our use case now has the following structure. Many destinations, such as relational databases however, require a flat record where each field is simply a string, integer, or alike. The field flattener, as its name implies, flattens the structure of the record. Configuration is straightforward. Specify whether you want to flatten the entire record or just a specific field, and the separator you would like to use. So let's see it more in detail. Select the processor and go to the Flatten tab, select the Flatten Entire Record option, set the name separator as period, and preview the pipeline. Applying this to the sample data above, results in a record with fields such as address street, address city, and alike. So we've got a nice flat record structure, but those field names don't match the columns in the database. It would be nice to rename those fields to street, city, and so on. The field renamer has you covered here. Now you could explicitly specify each field in the address, but that's a bit laborious, not to mention brittle, in the face of data drift. We want to be able to handle new fields, such as latitude and longitude, appearing in the input data without having to stop the pipeline, reconfigure it, and restart it. 
Let's specify a regular expression to match field names with the prefix address. That regular expression containing the word address is a little complex, so let's unpack it. The initial slash is the field path, we want to match fields in the root of the record. We quote the field name since it contains what for data collector is a special character, a period. We include that period in the prefix that we want to match, escaping it with a backslash, since the period has a special meaning in regular expressions. Finally, we use parentheses to delimit the group of characters that we want to capture for the new field name, every remaining character in the existing name. The target field expression specifies the new name for the field, a slash, its path followed by whatever was in the delimited group. This is all a precise if slightly roundabout way to say look for fields that start with address period and rename them with whatever is after that prefix. Let's see it in action on the output from the field flattener. And now our imaginary destination needs street number, separately from street name. No problem, the field splitter was designed for exactly this situation. It works in a similar way to the renamer, but on field values rather than names. We're splitting the slash street field on sequences of one or more whitespace characters. This will ensure that two Bryant street with two spaces will be treated the same as two Bryant street with a single space. We put the results of the split operation into two new fields, slash street number and slash street name. If we can't split the slash street field in two, then we send the record to the error stream. If there are more than two results, we want to put the remaining text, for example, Bryant Street in the last field. Finally, we want to remove the original slash street field. The results are as you might expect. Here is the final pipeline that pivots, flattens, renames and splits fields in the incoming data. Deploy stream sets data collector, create a draft pipeline using the dev raw data origin and trash destination, and try it out. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.